Hi guys, so today I thought I'd make a video What do you mean you can't understand me? Reasons why Dan's a failure Now those of you who watch my videos might not think that as someone who was constantly bullied for sounding like Winnie the Pooh and appears to whack out their vocabulary like a 12 foot penis at a party would suffer from this but I mumble. Throughout my life, in everyday conversation, I'd say about 40% of my words are either too quiet or not enunciated well enough and just get lost in an indecipherable tumble of cheeky tongue noises. It's not happening right now because I'm making a mental effort to be understandable, but if I don't think about it, my mouth just fails to work. If I'm around people I know, it's not really much of an issue for me, it's just very annoying for them. Living with Phil can be challenging, as he's also pretty deaf, so this is how most of our conversations go. Hey Phil, can you pass the remote? Huh? The remote. Huh? Are you deaf? What? But around people that aren't already aware of my many flaws, it can be difficult. Any loud environment is my nemesis. You know when you're in a bar or a restaurant or any place we have to speak up in conversation, I literally cannot function in those situations. It's like I've been put on mute. Instead of sending a successful beam of language towards the other person, I just send out a little cough of which gets to about here and dissolves into the air. You think it's awkward having to ask someone to repeat themselves more than twice? Try being on the other side of that situation when it's your fault. And it went all over the place. <laughs> yeah, I did that once. What? I said I did that once. <laughs> Sorry, what? <laughs> it's okay. I did that once. I can't ask again. I'm gonna have to just pretend I heard that. <laughs> yeah, same. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh god, he knows. <sighs> oh, look what you've done, man. Look how awkward you've made this person feel. Why don't you work, you useless shit? What the f- Mumbling causes a very strange kind of embarrassment where you didn't really do anything wrong, you just failed to do something quite basic. Like you've disappointed everybody, most of all yourself. And as someone who is prone to general inexplicable acts of awkwardness at the best of times, it can be quite hard to leave a good impression on new people. For example, I think I can tell this story. I met PewDiePie and Marzia for the first time the other day, and I was very excited because I loved them both, so I was just thinking, this is it Dan, this is your opportunity to show them what a cool dude you are. Because cool dudes click and do that, don't they? Jesus Christ. We went out for dinner and it was actually two couples and then me sat on the end of the table, so I was kind of the fifth wheel. But there was a moment where the conversation naturally died down and I had just thought of a really funny joke and I was thinking, this is it, Dan, this is your moment. Seize it. <laughs> that was what she said. <laughs> uh. Hmm? Oh, nothing. No, no, never mind. Oh, okay. Well, that was it. That was your one chance and you blew it. You bloody idiot. Please love me. Why? I don't feel like it should be such a mental effort. I think my tongue is too big for my skull. It's like a giant sponge that just absorbs all of my speech. And my social life. Maybe I should try mouth exercises. Sorry, I think I just sexually assaulted you. Perhaps it is simply God's way of preventing the rest of society from having to interact with me. I could believe that. I'm just glad the rest of my life has no serious responsibilities. King Daniel, hmm? should we free the traitor or kill him? Oh, um, I guess you can free him. <laughs> oh, oh, uh, <clears throat> oh, that's, that's not what I said. Oh well. What about you guys? How many of you mumble? How does it affect your life? Or do you just find people that do it intolerable? Tell me down in the comments! We can be like, Mumble is Anonymous. Actually, I'm imagining those meetings. That wouldn't really work, would it? If you want to see more of my videos and you aren't already, then you can click up here or down there to subscribe to my channel to be told when I make a new one. Or if you fancy more reasons why Dan's a fail, then there is a sexual playlist of those there to realize what a functional human you actually are. Also, a YouTuber friend of mine named Ashens has made an interactive adventure in which myself, Phil, and some other mystery guests appear, so you can try to find us in that if you wish. Right. I guess I'll go continue my tongue exercises, but in private, so I don't violate anyone. Goodbye. What the f- 
I was so shocked, my boobs fell off. This is my career. It's not even wine, this is really watered down Ribena.